What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Infinite Nerdism. This is a uh, figure review. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been doing a bunch of like um, Funko Pop hauls and stuff, but I've been waiting for this for almost a year now. Ordered it, uh, pre ordered it last summer. Was not expecting it. It was supposed to come out in December. Uh, that time has passed. I gave up on it, to be honest with you. And all of a sudden, I get an email a few days ago saying it's been shipped, and I start freaking out. And I get it a couple days later. It is the first Gokin Roku Saki Shredder um, figure. Highly detailed Roku Saki. There's some of the um, poses and stuff you can do with them. But he's more detailed when you take him out. So let's just open him up and take a look at this guy. It's going to be amazing. So this isn't my initial unboxing. I did open him about a day after I got him because I've been waiting forever. And um, just to look at him. So I, I cut the tape and all that stuff. So it's all ready to go. So this is the little booklet you get. I have not opened this yet. I do not know what this is. Spare parts, but I don't know. I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's joints. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So just a one page thing, um, the different poses and stuff you can do with them. If you haven't checked out the first Goken stuff, they did a uh, Krang one that is uh, about 100 to 150 bucks, depending on where you look for it. Pretty detailed. I didn't get that one. Um, I wasn't collecting a lot of figures when that around the time that one came out. But when as soon as I saw, I have yet to see a good Shredder figure. Oh, we'll wait for that later. A good Shredder figure. Um, I do have the turtles. I got the Secret of the Ooze turtles. Some people like those. Some people don't. I love them. They're pretty cool. Um, those are the the ones that were released at Walmart. Walmart exclusives. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. First, let's take a look at um, the accessories that you get. And they're gonna each resemble a turtle, or they're gonna be designed for. So this is Shredder's weapon here. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go to, of course, we have each of the turtle-specific weapons. So this is Donatello's staff, right? You get you get Raphael's size. That's pretty awesome. I mean, they do have that plasticky feel, but it's pretty cool. Michelangelo's nunchucks you need that little spikes at the end that's legit and the little metal piece that i have a feeling that this part might break off if not used properly let's put those back and of course i like how they have each uh, each weapon has the turtles color on them that's pretty legit and of course you have leonardo's katanas so that's awesome in blue and then you get uh, two sets of interchangeable hands so this is one with a closed fist uh, it's gonna look exactly like it or right? a closed fist and then you have an open hand I'm assuming oh slightly open I guess so you can hold the different weapons this will be for the size I'm guessing because of the way the fingers are separated that's cool so you can hold different weapons different ways and now for the main attraction Shredder himself. Oh, look at that. You got his little blades. This stand right here, this stand is used for the weapons. So you can position him where he's sitting with all the weapons. You can position everything on top like that, which is awesome. As if he's like, has it sitting in his dojo. And what else? Oh, of course. The Shredder helmet. Let's take this baby out. Oh wow, this is actually like, I'm assuming die cast metal. These are pretty sharp. That is awesome. So it has a little point on top, I'm guessing, so you can stay on his head. But yeah, that's pretty, uh... Oh, I guess, no, it's to balance on top of the... Yes. Look at that. So you take this initial plastic off, and of course you have the plastic covering his shoulder pads. 
So the shoulder pads are cool. I'm checking to see if they're sharp. No, they're not. And then this cape has its own separate plastic. You just remove that. Let's see. So yeah, his cape is fabric. Expands out. His little front piece fabric as well. He stands at about seven inches tall. I wish I had a figure for comparison. So let's do this. I don't have any figures for size comparison, but this is the Luke Skywalker Star Wars Celebration Pop. So it's a pretty, so basic pop box. This guy towers above that. So it's like up to his chest. So I won't say like a two, almost two, three inches bigger than a, a standard pop box. But yeah, I love the detail. So he has an open little open hand here. Wrists, you get wrists, you get elbow, you get bicep, shoulder, extend out. That's pretty cool. And then, it, whoa, wow. I guess a pectoral movement. Shoulder pads go up and down. Head goes all the way around, up and down. Yep. So same thing here. You get abdomen crunch. You get leg extenders. Look at that. So you can do a full split pretty much. And you can move, you get the thigh twist. Knee. And then of course foot. That's cool. I brought him closer so we can put the his helmet on him to get that look on it. So you ready? Right there. I'm not sure, maybe I'm missing something. Obviously that can't go on top of his head. Okay, so it turns out I'm not crazy after all. You have to scalp this guy. You have to remove his hair to put the helmet on. I wasn't expecting that. I figured that it just come in one piece, but yeah. So you, uh, so you remove this one to apply this one. There we go. That, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so we'll put his little things back on him. You can position them in many different ways. Right, so that's pretty cool. I'm guessing the hair that you put take off of him, you can put it back on this thing and display his hair on the little stand. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can display him with the turtle weapons. What I plan to do is um see like that you can display everything together i plan to give them to the turtles and put do like a fight scene or something but yeah he can do he can do uh like he's meditating right there he's in deep state of meditate action but i'm not quite sure what this is still maybe just re replaceable joints uh, i love this thing let me guys know what you think about it if you picked one up yourself um but once again, it's a first Gokin Orokusaki, so it's not going to be a shredder um, officially. It's just going to say Orokusaki. And yeah, and a cool thing, um, a few years back, I was able to meet Francois Chow, or Francis Chow, a gentleman who played Shredder in The Secret of the Ooze, and he was pretty cool. My wife took a picture with him while she was pregnant, and she had a Shredder shirt on, and he tried to recreate what was on the on the t-shirt. Uh, he's a pretty sweet guy, man. He's nice. And he signed uh, a picture that I had, or an, an artist. Uh, painting uh, that I had of the shredder he said it was amazing and then a few months ago if you follow my Instagram I met Kevin Eastman co-creator of the uh, Ninja Turtles and I told him how much I love shredder he uh, did a bunch of cool sign a bunch of cool stuff for me um, he also signed the same picture that Mr. Chow signed so I have that framed and that's pretty awesome man it's cool I mean if you're like me you grow up loving the turtles, but for some reason, as an adult, Shredder's the man. He's awesome. That's the shot right there. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, follow me at Infinite Nerdism on my Instagram. It'll be at Infinite Nerdism right across here somewhere. Uh, Till next time, guys. Have a good one. And remember, Shredder lives. Long live the Foot Clan. Have a good one, guys.